we let us see the formulas in lookup and referencing. So there is a function address. As you know, you can see the cell address in name box. Okay. But you have a formula to create a address like address formula. Here you will give the row number like I want to uh, uh, make a reference for B3. So what I will do, B is the column and uh, 3 is the row. So row num row num is 3 and column num is 2. So it will create B3. This address will create a reference. But how can we access it? Like uh, if we add a equal to here, there is equal to, but how to access it? So we have indirect formula which convert text to a reference. Now I am typing something in B3. So it will be referred to. Okay, so this this is what address formula do. Then we have areas formula. Areas formula is not important but let me show you what it actually does. In areas, you give references with comma separation. So it will tell you that how many references you have chosen here. Okay. Like So we have just taken... Just out of curiosity, can you tell me when you use the indirect reference? Like what would be the application for it? Indirect, indirect function you can use in to converting uh, your data into text. Uh, your text into reference. Like okay. I tell you the indirect function. Uh, let's suppose you have some department name HR and admin administration and HR department in which you have some candidates and so we have some um, departments. Now I want to create a list and I want to choose a person. Uh, here I have I will put some data department and name. Okay. What I will do, I will create a list first here, like in data validation list. So one I am typing HR, second I am typing admin. Okay, a data validation list is here. Copy and paste validation. Validation. So now I have list of department here. But what I want to do that if I select HR, there should be a list which shows you the name only from HR list. If we select admin, so this list should show the name of admin guy. So what exactly we are going to do? We are we just going to give a name of this list. I am selecting the HR person and giving the name HR there. Now HR is a text which reference to this list. Now I am giving this 
admin list name as admin. So you can uh, convert uh, if you type HR that means your this list. Okay. So what I am going to do I will type a formula here that indirect because it's a text but as well reference also so for converting text to range we use indirect formula okay so this formula I will put in data validation list okay so I can see the name of the guys see admin department I will copy this validation also now if I select HR I can see the HR person name if I select the admin I can see the admin person okay is it clear do you understood how I have done it you understood how I have done it uh, I was this in direct form uh, your voice is breaking it. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm good. Uh, okay, you understood, now? Yeah, I, I'm I'm good. You can go on. Okay. Then we have more formulas. Area, area will tell you that how many references you have selected. It is not the important formula, but like two references we have selected so it will show you I have to give in within brackets so it will show you two there is a this function just do like that Then we have choose formula. Where we can use choose formula. Suppose I have a list I want to create January, February, March, April. Like this I want to create let me first clear the data validation so so what I want to do I want to create a list Jan, Feb, March like this okay. if I change the number it should change should change. So what exactly choose formula do? Let me clear that validation also. Choose formula have first index number like I type anything then you have a list like Jan, Fab, March. You can give a number of values. So what it will do, it will according to the index number, it will choose the value. Like here we have three values. 
if we are, we are giving 1, so it will give me the first value. If we are giving 2, so it will give me the second value. Okay? Like this, this formula return. If we are, we are giving 3, so it will give me the third value. So for this option, I have to make uh, entries till December. But I tell you the short way to enter this text as a parameter. What we are going to do, uh, we have to type this in the formula. So what we can do, we can select this, your list, and extend your column width till then you think that it can come in single cell. You just expand the column width. Then go to home tab. Under fill section, you have justify. Justify what it does, it will shrink the values into one cell. Okay? And if you uh, collapse it back, so you can use the same function justify for extending the values again into rows. So I want to use in single cell, will justify. Then I will use a formula here, I need to put a formula. But before that what I have to do because text entry needs inverted commas. So what I will do, go to find and replace, find what? Space. Because there is a space between and replace space with inverted comma comma inverted comma so when I uh, click replace so it will the value will be like this one so you can give because there was no space in starting and ending so there was, is no value so I have to give manually the inverted comma then you can type your in index number just refer this one comma and in index just close the bracket like this you can drag the formula and see when the number change it will change Okay. So that's what choose formula is. So according to index number it picks the value. Then let's see other formula. Column. There are two formula column and rows. Row and column. And rows and column. So what it does column will return you the column number. If you don't give any difference, so it will return the current column number. Row will return the current row number. Like it is 8th row and this is 4th column A, B, C, 4th column. Like this. If you give the reference like in column If you give the reference, any reference, so it will give the reference column number. Okay. So, reference row number. Okay. Where can we use it? So that's, that's probably going to be useful if there's like a dynamic range. Where? Yeah, yeah, that's pretty simple. So, we have a list. Suppose we have a list and we have to put serial number. Like there are some names.
in sales. So here I want to put serial number. So I can use the row formula here. Now what's the benefit of row formula while we are putting this? Because if we are doing modification in any middle, we are deleting any value from the middle. So roll number will not change. The data will be uh, will be up only. So roll number will never disturb. Your serial number will never disturb. But you are saying that uh, your data can start from any place because for heading we need places so row number change what we can do now then let's suppose here is serial number name and sales what we can do just minus upper one upper row number in that manually row minus equals is upper five okay now that drag this formula so you have exact serial number, benefit is this, you can delete any of the row, it will never disturb you, you need not to uh, correct serial numbers all the time, okay. Now I want to make it automatic, and when I enter the data then only it should enter the serial number. So what I can do, I can automate this with if formula. I am typing that if the junk cell if b6 b6 is not equal to blank then do this formula otherwise show me blank. Okay. Now I drag this formula table. So when I enter here something, then only it will show you the serial number. Okay. And the same benefit you can delete in between and it will have this too. Okay. Same thing you can do with column. You can design a formula for column numbers. Okay. So it can be used for multi-purpose. Then you have next formula rows. This is for multiple things. Just select and under selection how many rows you have it will tell you the rows formula. And columns formula also do the same. How many columns you have selected it will show you. Now let's go to another formula. Let's suppose you have, hmm, you want to create hyperlinks like Google. How you do? In insert there is hyperlink button and then you give anything in the address like www.google.com ok so you have hyperlinked this value to google when you click it so it will go to google so it's ok now what I want to do, I want to make it dynamic. 
this hyperlink like Google, Facebook, Rediff, Yahoo, anyone else, YouTube. Now I have to select Control K, Control K all the time, insert hyperlink all the time. With a formula we can do, we have hyperlink. The link location, we will give www dot close inverted comma and concatenate the disappearance. And dot com. Okay. Then you have friendly name. That means what you want to show here. So I am showing here click. Okay. Now I can copy this formula and paste. So I have created a direct link, a dynamic formula for that. So if I want to use Yahoo. Uh, this link is not valid. Why it is not valid? Because there is some other keywords. HTTP colon double slash like this. Now when I click it, so it will open the Google. This HTTPS we have to type. Then for Facebook we click on Facebook. We have clicked. And here is Facebook. It's logging. It's going to Facebook. Oh that's pretty cool. Now let's make it more cool with using list. So what I, I will do, I will create a list here, rest of all I believe. List with data validation. Data validation. List. Source, just select this list. Okay, so you have a list. So if you have selected ready, then you click. Oh, it is showing me wrong reference section. I need to correct the reference here. Reference should be taken from here. So when you click on this, it, you will open this rediff.com. So this is rediff.com. So if you choose any other thing Google, so you can click on and it will open Google. So you can make it dynamic, hyperlink. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can create a list there for your recordings and use the formula. And then you can just click on the part, click and your video will be open. Okay. Now let's move to other formula. We have a transpose formula for converting vertical to horizontal, horizontal to vertical. We have a transpose function here in paste special also here you have paste special and you have transpose option here converting the value we have a formula also but for that we need to select the cells first where you want to transpose full cells then only apply this formula 
transpose click on the array select the reference then you need to press control shift enter not a simple enter control shift enter selected. Basically this is an array formula and you can see there are curly braces before the formula. So this is a special type of formula which I will tell you in the end of the formula session. But this with the uh, special brackets, um, yes. is that always an array formula with the special brackets? Yes, it's an array formula. Okay, and the special brackets say that it's a uh, array formula? Yes, 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 you are right. Okay. So this is an array formula. What is the benefit if you change any thing? So it will also change here. Okay. So this is the benefit of transpose function. Then let's start with VLOOKUP, the most awaited formula. Do we have some employee IDs? Name, city, We have some employee IDs. Like this, we have some value. Now I want to get the details. choose some of the employee IDs from here and I want the data from this one only these IDs so how I can do I will apply VLOOKUP first thing is lookup value the employee ID to be looked up then table array this data but it should be fixed and here we have to fix column so we will apply dollar before it before the column then column index in your data selection which columns value you want to be here so it is the second column one two second column here so you can type 2 then you have true and false true for approximate match false for exact so always we want exact match so we can give false or zero ok <laughs> then drag your formula we need to change column index in each formula like third value I would here then fourth value I want we are ready to drag oh, that's this a formula. very useful function yes so we can able to see that uh, our data is there so if we change the ID the data will also change ok now this is the basic function of VLOOKUP but we need to we need to uh, remember that the first value should be in first in data the lookup value should be in first position in your data selection okay 
if you are giving some data here and you want to get the values from on the basis of employee ID you will not be able to get the value from the left side okay yes. Oh, I see what you say. It has to be on column A. Yes, yes. Now, let's see one thing. If we, have, uh, if we don't have anything in this cell, it will show you error. So, for error, I have told you a formula. If error, we can use. If error, the value will be your formula. And if there is an error, you should uh, show blank double quotes. Okay. Now drag this formula, change the column index. Three, four. Okay. Now when you enter the value then only it will show you the result. Okay. So you can you can get the result. But what is the frustrating thing about this VLOOKUP? We need to uh, enter this column index again and again. What we can do? Yeah. Now, first, take, first you should know what column you are exactly using. So, it is 8 column. 8 minus 7 for 1, 8 minus 6 for 2. Okay. So what you are going to do, row minus 3 in place of column index, uh, not 3, second, na? so we need to, so 8 minus 6, we will get 2 row 8 minus 6 in place of no, no, we will not use row formula here, it will be column formula. Column formula. Column minus 6, so we will get the value. Now you don't have to uh, enter anything else, just drag the formula and you will get the result. Okay, because it is in sequence, you need to uh, give this one only, minus 6, so we, it will automatically integrate 2, 3, 4. Okay. The same formula. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, and you know, edge lookup, edge lookup is just for uh, retrieving the same data. If we are using transpose option here, this data is in. Rows now. So how we are going to do the same thing with that lookup? If your data is still there, so uh, the employee IDs will be there. Now H lookup, lookup value. In this, you need to fix the column here also. Then table array select the data, fix all the table. Then in VLOOKUP you have column index number. In HLOOKUP you have row index number. Means in your selection, what is the number of row? What is the index position of row? So first is EID, second is name, third is cities, fourth is sales. So you can use second row number. Then false or zero. 
for adjustment. So you can get the same data. We can yeah. use one more thing here. I I I am working on 16th row. I need two. So 16 minus 14. So here we are dealing with row. So we can use row formula. But uh, row formula will not work there because we are expanding in columns. Column again. Column. I am in same. Same thing I do. Yeah, yeah. Okay, drag it. Column is. So we can get the data from HLOOKUP as well. But let's see we have similar condition. And we have designation here. Designation. Now we can't use VLOOKUP. Okay. Now I want designations too. But it is from, it is on the left side of uh, LOOKUP value. So we can't use VLOOKUP here. But one thing we can use here. Let's suppose we have some IDs. Okay. Now there is a function match well match. So match does something like we look up, but what it does? lookup value, lookup array, array uh, is uh, I am giving the whole employee fixing that only employee IDs are I am giving then for exact match we will use zero there is no column index because we are selecting only one array okay so it will return me that it is returning me 3 so that means on my selection it is on the third position so 1 2 3 this is the value now we got the index position so we can use index formula like I want something from name so what I can do I am selecting the data here and I want the third position of data third position of uh, third index position squarely so in whole array I can give this index array and row number which is the 3 so I can get the same value let us link to it with this key this one. So when I change the value, I can get the relevant value. Okay. Now copy this match formula into that link. Okay index and match let me fix this array also uh, in terms of rows only okay control x now uh, what I have done let me copy it again 
So match will return the row number from here. Control here. I need to fix this rows also because when I drag down, it should not go down. Why I'm not doing with column? You will understand. So when I am dragging the data, okay, I have not uh, this lookup value I need to fix. Okay. Now I am dragging that, so you can get the data without index value. What happening here, here you have selection in index, you have selection of name. Then when I, uh, I am not logged column here C so C got changed into D rest of all the values I have changed. so it is giving the values from here. so for designations what we are going to do just dragging the formula this index position I will shift to this designation means I have to give the index uh, array here. So you can get the relevant data. Okay. So according to any data, you can get the data. So index match is a very useful function, but tough to use. Once you understand the individual functionality of match and index, you will be able to use okay so match gives us the index position this thing we can use with VLOOKUP also like we have used column formula here we can use match also for what like I type here yeah, let me match something match lookup value will be my column heading lookup array will be this position this part of the data the heading part of the data let me just fix it and what I need to fix here because this function will be built in we look up and drag it when I drag down, so it should log the row. Row should be logged. And the match type should be 0. Okay, so it will give me the heading position. Okay. Now when I change the heading name here, so dynamically it will return the same. Okay. So this formula is more handy. I just copy this formula and in the part of row index, column index, I copy this formula. So I am dragging the values. All the data is same. When I change my names here, you can see the changes. Okay. Now what you can automate, you can give this employee ID in a list with data validation. You can give this heading in a list. So you will select sales and it will show you according data. So that's how you can do automation with your data. Okay. So we have learned that index match functions using match with VLOOKUP also with if error we have uh, we can do lot of things with VLOOKUP let's suppose we have multiple uh, data in multiple sheets like I create data 1 
data 2 then data 3 okay in three parts we have the same data i just copy uh, copy the data there then uh, we will delete this data only three values i put here and rest of all i will put here i employ uh, heading i am copying here then in data 3 also i am go going to do the same uh, but rest of the values i will pick in data 3 ok so we have the same data in three parts now in fourth we are going to apply VLOOKUP ok or we will apply VLOOKUP here now we have some IDs like E002, E005 and E009 from different sheets. Now how I am going to do it? We look up. Look up value. You have the column table array. I will choose my first data. Fix it. Then column index. Then zero as false. So I got my first value. But when there is any other value, so it will show an error. So on that error, we have to work ok how you will apply if error if error and in value if error part you will type the, again a vlookup and then lookup value then table array will be your data too then column index then zero complete but there is not also data but if you type the value from between there you will get the value so between two of the sheets you have linked if you type e001 you get the value e005 you will get the value ok for third sheet what we will do because we have no space here where we to enter the data in second we look up we can use one more if error ok this is nested if error so on the ending of this uh, second we look up we use if error and then we give the another if error we look up ok now the columns this data then column index and then zero for example something goes wrong here so it's pretty powerful if it can do multiple sheets at once huh It's uh, very powerful that they can do multiple sheets at once. Yes, it is. So, can it do also multiple workbooks? What? How? Is it able to do multiple workbooks? What to do in multiple? Multi yes, 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 yes. You can do the same if error formula. Okay. I see, okay. Now, if you, if you enter any of the data, you will get the value. Okay. C001.
so you can get uh, the things here then uh, in starting you can give the match uh, match formula for matching the result here so if error you can use with match also match and error so it will be a large formula so now you know how to create large formula more larger mega formulas okay so we we look up we can do lot of things and let me show you one more example with we look up let's suppose with using ana other functions we are creating a filter kind of effect here so what we have we have employee ids the same data i got okay uh we don't need employee id okay so we have some duplicacy in data and it's a kind of sales report you can say so i have sales report for some person now what i want to do if i select sandeep it shows you the sandeep only data so like that i want to create something but i don't want to use filters okay because in filters you need to select all the time it is in automation you have to create the things of your own so i need to get the sandeep's data but uh, i know there is a uh, we lookup can get only me the first data okay so what i need the city main city sales okay here i will so first i want to know that how many values we are having uh so we usually create a list here i'm just copying uh, this data putting it here and in data you can use advanced filter also advanced filter why we are using here i have selected data some data now i'm going to copy to another location and unique records only the another location i will choose from here okay copy to okay so it is giving me no no it is it has given me all the data because the selection was wrong so no problem we have another option we can use this option also remove duplicates so in that list i have to choose by data as headers and then okay so it will remove all the duplicate values now i need a list here i can use data validation for that select it from here okay so i have a list i can access the names in a list like filter now how many values it has having in the following data we will use the count if function the range will be this one i select and the criteria will be h3 so six sweet value is there harish has seven mahesh has six sadeep has seven. like that so it is giving me that how many values are there 
now I need the same values here so I will use this serial number also okay the serial number generation first if error a function we will use uh, if this value is equal to blank then it should show blank otherwise one automatic okay so if there is nothing it will show so nothing if there is it will show one now what I need to do if there is something so again a function if this is equal to blank then it should be blank otherwise what it should do this value plus one okay and we need uh, no no this condition we should not enter we will use when this value is this value is greater than or equal to this value so this value we need to fix here then it should show blank otherwise it should do this calculation ok so I drag this formula down ok now I am choosing the values and according to that it is showing me the serial ok So I will automate this value also. If this value is greater than equal to this value. should show me <coughs> it should show me the greater than equal to black otherwise it should show me this one let's see whether it is working oh so it's a circular reference we can directly give that condition here let me modify the formula because it is dependent on that uh, so we just modify the formula here this value is greater than 0 this value is greater than 0 then it should show 1 otherwise blank ok so this will be pretty fair for that now I can give the same condition if this value equal to blank then it should be blank otherwise this value fix this way so I can drag it down also ok 
now what we have done we have generated serial numbers and everything now i need the main values city and city so if we apply we look up what are the consequences when we select we look up value and the table array and the column index it will return me the same value okay from the first it will return not from this so i need second also so what we are going to do uh, i am trying to get a helper column here now i will generate a unique value of these names how i'm just counting these values with count if in count if i will select the b2 range to the same cell and criteria is also b2 now what is going to do i am just fixing the first one i fixed the first first one value so when i drag it down so what happens so it generates a serial like sandeep for the first time is one harish for the first time it's one and sandeep for the second time it's two harish two like you have generated a serial number for everything how it it is working so when you click on the formula you can see it has selected it has selected the first range here because there is no other value so it is matching than one in here the range exceeded itself if we come to this part so in this part vj is only one time it is checking down to up so when i go to this formula here so sandeep is finding two times here. okay in this range in this box so that's how it is generating the value here it is finding the three times because in this box okay so this is the whole concept but what i am going to do with this is that i will concatenate the value okay so it is like one sandeep second sandeep it will create a unique value okay now in we look up what we what we need to modify from b i am just expanding data to k so now i my column index is this from k and for generating these kind of values what i need to do i need to concatenate this one with this value okay so i have concatenated here let me just fix the values with the columns and we'll put dollar here dollar here and also i need to change the column index because it is changed so first it is there second is name third is city so i need third here then drag this formula Okay. Okay. Now I am dragging the same formula. Till down. So it is giving me variations now. Okay. Now for this error, you know, you need to use if error formula. If error, and there you will fix black value. here it will be per then blank values now when you drag it down so when you select any value it will show you as filter okay you can hide this helper column like this
Okay. Oh, it's a useful function. You can do all these things with the G lookup. Yes. Now I tell you one more, uh, one other function. So uh, this function is creating list from the top. Okay. Like Sandeep comes first, so it will show as first value. Someone asked that we need three, uh, list from the last. The last value should come first. So what we have to do, we just have to amend this formula. Because it is finding first here. If we have formula uh, uh, from there, we can find the last one as a first. So we can change the sequence. So how we are going to do on the last I am just changing the reference this one if b46 is there so b46 and fix the last one value only okay last one in the range and drag it to upside okay so the whole list change, Sandeep Valley 11 is the last value. Okay, so you can generate the reverse list also. Got it. So there are so many functions where you can do this kind of automation. These are very small things. Okay. <laughs> So now you understood that how uh, how to do calculations with that. Okay. So for today I think these are enough. You need to practice all these formulas. Then we will discuss more lookup formulas tomorrow. Okay. Oh, in our next session. Okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah, this is a lot of information. I, I look forward to playing with some of these uh, new formulas. Uh, yes. Okay, then. Bye.